Laura Ingram joins us once a week, and today's the day, and she joins us from our nation's capital. Hey, Laura. Hey, guess what, guys? The, when you think of the Terminator movie, remember the, what is it, that guy? I can't remember the name of these characters, but the, the silver guy who always keeps getting back up, right? Yes. He's get, he, get, he gets beaten down, then he keeps getting back right, up right. and coming after. I mean, it re kind of reminds me a little bit of, of Trump, right? I mean, he's got, they knock him down, like he made these good statements, they're controversial, but he keeps coming back and everybody's scratching their heads in the establishment class. Well, Laura, you know really what I think's different? Out. He actually doesn't go down. He stays yeah, up and everybody true. else falls <laughs> around him, expects him to fall, but nothing maybe, happens. Maybe it's like Arnold. When he, he gets hit and he keeps just walking. Yeah. So, yeah. so we've been doing this every week, and we have all these experts weighing in on why Donald Trump is going to flame out and not, is going to just burn out. But yet 20,000 in Dallas yesterday. First off, before we hear it, can I get your take on why he's dominating the polls? He's speaking bluntly about the concerns of everyday Americans. But not maybe specifically. Not, maybe uh, immigration is the number one issue facing the country. And I know a lot of our friends in the establishment class, they've been yawning. I've been talking about this for seven years. Others have as well. Mostly poo-pooed. We've been called nativists. We've been called xenophobic, anti-immigrant. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is working class people in this country have seen the effects on their lives of open borders and a failure to enforce the laws that are on the books. They're not bad people. They're not mean people. They're not horrible people. They're Americans and they want this border sealed and they want a sensible immigration policy to be in yeah. place. He's spoken to that concern bluntly probably needs to be a little bit more specific on some of the policies that he'd uh, push forward. I, I agree with that. But he's speaking bluntly and people believe that he's actually going to do it because he's not beholden to the billionaire class yeah. uh, that that a lot of the other candidates, frankly, are funded by. But sure. that he's me a member of. And, you know, Laura, yes. you're one of the first uh, national figures who really started to identify what's going on with the Trump train. You mentioned uh, immigration. That's one of the things he talked about last night. Uh, out there at the American Airlines Center. We got a little montage. Here's Donald Trump. We have to build a wall, folks. We want people to be in our country legally. I have such respect for women. I cherish women. I like Carly. And I like Ben. And I like many of the people that I'm running against. I mean, many of these people are terrific people. But nobody's going to be able to do the job that I'm going to do. He, Laura, he gives a political speech like nothing anybody's ever seen before. Yeah, here's, here's what I'll say to you know, all the folks who uh, you know, are, think Trump is the worst thing that ever showed up, and there are a lot of them out there. Isn't the point of politics in large part to gather a movement of people together mm -hmm. who who share your basic outlook and who can be brought along and isn't the point of politics to to broaden the base of the party by by attending to the issues and the needs that the, of the people I, it seems to me that's that's one of the main points of politics i work for ronald reagan okay i'm not saying trump is reagan uh, trump's not reagan he's he's a different he's a different animal but we need a movement to save this country. And one of these candidates is but, going to emerge as the guy to do this. Right now it's Trump. Could but, it be somebody else? Maybe but it Lord, can here's be. here's what surprised me about you and yeah. Mark Levin and Rush Limbaugh. We right. always talk about true conservatives. Right. Yeah, I don't even think that Donald Trump can say, I mean, he's like an authentic conservative. You're always trying to look out and see, okay, maybe he's not, maybe she is, maybe the, but uh, Donald Trump has got a lot of the areas in which he, you could look at to say he's not a true conservative. Right. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, what I think, what I'm doing is analyzing this. People have been so burned by the GOP and their promises that aren't delivered upon, and frankly, their lies about what they're going to do once they have the Senate or the House or the presidency, they've been so burned that they're willing to overlook a lot of kind of fuzzy areas in, in Donald Trump's comments, his old comments. And so th what they want to do now is say, okay, what are the two issues we really care about? We care about immigration, and we care about these trade deals that have frankly sent a lot of our jobs overseas. We haven't seen a lot of benefit to the middle-income folks and the lower-income folks in these trade deals. If he can handle those two issues and do them well, then maybe we can make progress in these other areas. But I think a lot of folks are willing to kind of almost sideline some of these other issues to get it right on two big ones. That's where I think people are. I'm not endorsing anybody. 
I am analyzing why he can get 20,000 people right. in a stadium on, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the middle of on September. On a Monday night. Never happened before. People in the establishment better understand. This is happening because people are hurting. They're not xenophobes. They're not bad people. They're not dumb, as some of our friends and uh, some conservative publications have intimated. These aren't dumb people. These are American patriots, and they want this country turned around. Scott Walker could try to do this, and maybe he could get a huge crowd. Uh, Ted Cruz, he has a lot of talent. Carly does. Ben does. But this magic has to be corralled into a series of policies that can that can clear cut what the Democrats are offering. We need some of this emotion uh, meshed together with clear and unequivocal policies that revive the American middle class. That that's what I think we need right now. He's the conduit for all of this frustration. And it's those two issues.